data from rats fed high phosphate diets supplemented with monophosphate or polyphosphate salts has indicated that the development of nephrocalcinosis and diminished kidney function is more severe when polyphosphate salts as compared with monophosphate salts are fed. And polyphosphates were in all three of these vet recommended dry foods that we looked at last week. Hey friends, it's Jess and Jericho. And last week we talked about different phosphates, aka flavor enhancer palatins that are in pet foods. And the review states, phosphates, pyrophosphates, and polyphosphates have also been explored as potential palatins in dry pet foods. Although there are some concerns regarding their long-term effects on renal functions of pets. And we looked at three different brands, all of which are vet recommended. They also all have prescription foods and all three of them had some form of phosphates, flavor enhancer palatins added to them. So today we're going to look at the other study that this review references in regard to its effect on renal functions. The study is called Effects of Long-Term Feeding of Diets Enriched with Inorganic Phosphorus, aka phosphate, on the adult feline kidney and phosphorus metabolism. So they reference in the study that organic phosphorus, aka from meat, is less bioavailable when compared to the inorganic version, aka the synthetic man-made phosphate. And this is important to understand. So when the cat is eating his whole prey, he's getting phosphorus naturally, and it it's easy to avoid over excess. Whereas with the inorganic phosphate, it's easy to overdo because it's more bioavailable. And especially when this comes to dry food, these companies have one parent company at the top, and they manufacture multiple brands, multiple products within each brand. So it can be difficult to have quality control when you're manufacturing 20 different products all in the same factory. Give me a polydactyl thumbs up if this is helpful so far. So more cat parents that want to feed their cat better can find this video. Thank you. And the study states, Data from rats fed high phosphate diets supplemented with monophosphate or polyphosphate salts has indicated that the development of nephrocalcinosis and diminished kidney function is more severe when polyphosphate salts as compared with monophosphate salts are fed. And polyphosphates were in all three of these vet recommended dry foods that we looked at last week. And the study continues, in cats, they compared a diet with 100% phosphorus from an organic source with a diet containing a similar total phosphorus, but they used 63.5% phosphorus from sodium phosphate. So they had natural phosphorus from an organic source and they compared it to an inorganic phosphate, but it, the levels of the phosphorus were the same. They noted a greater percentage of phosphorus in the urine when the high inorganic phosphate diet was fed compared with the organic phosphorus diet. And especially with kidney disease, we're told that phosphorus is the enemy, but that's not the entire truth. It's the inorganic, aka the man-made synthetic phosphate that causes problems and not the organic, aka from meat, natural phosphorus. And it's very interesting that this study was actually funded by Mars Pet Care, and they are the manufacturer of one of these vet-recommended brands that we looked at last week. That includes the polyphosphate. So they know that it's a problem, but they still use it in their food. Very, very interesting, and I guess the better word is disturbing for that. If I was feeding one of these brands, I would transition to raw right meow, and you can check out my transition plan right over meow. It's specifically formulated for picky cats that are eating kibble and they want to go from kibble to wet or raw. Thanks for watching.